Hey, hey, Mustangs. Here we are for our last prompt of the week. Yesterday's I gave you a step-by-step -step on how to make your box open, right? And we added flaps to it. So now we're gonna make a little bit different lid. So I'm gonna start with that parallelogram, that diamond shape. This time I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Still a diamond. We're not starting with a square or a rectangle, but a parallelogram. And I will make those three lines coming down, depending on how deep I want this box. This is a treasure box, so you might wanna make it a little bit bigger and then connect your lines. Now we're going to add the lid of the box. So I'm going to have, and you can draw this part like we did in the box, right? And you might actually see a little bit of the bottom there, like so, like you're looking in the box. It's an empty treasure box because you've discovered all the gold in it, right? Sure. So from there, you're going to lift that lid. You're drawing the lid, okay? And then that also is that parallelogram shape and everything is parallel. See these lines? They're all parallel. That's how you know you've got it visually working. Instead of a square top, we're gonna make it a curved round top. And then you will have to curve this line and make it connect. And then you will also add this curve on the inside, because you'll be seeing that. See so we have a lid now? Then when you shade it, this inside part of the lid will be your darkest dark. Medium. I might have a little bit of dark on this part and kind of go lighter as it fades up. And then this would be your light light. And then yesterday's prompt, we did the dark part inside. You remember the inside of your little box with flaps? And then it gets lighter as it gets closer to the light source. If you're using your drawing pencils, you'll be able to get those nice dark darks. Now, instead of just drawing the ground, I want you guys to put this treasure box somewhere fun, like maybe at the bottom of the ocean, and maybe put some sharks swimming around, maybe a jellyfish, or maybe, maybe you draw what's inside the box. Instead of doing this, maybe you put something in your treasure box. What's something that's treasurable to you? One of those things is how I would like you to finish your box today. So take your time, start with that parallelogram, color in the direction of the shape. Don't forget to add that shadow. Happy drawing.